Hello, and welcome to Brief Camp Boot Camp. This is Lizzie Goldmeyer, and today I'll be talking about some of the ways airports and transport terminals can leverage BriefCam's video content analytics platform to increase operational efficiency, business intelligence, and situational awareness. Let's jump in and start by demonstrating how operators can use BriefCam to understand the pedestrian traffic patterns within a terminal. We'll start in the review module. Here you can see an airport terminal lobby. We'll start off by viewing a video synopsis of an hour of activity in this space to get a general overview of how the space was navigated and the traffic trends. If I want to drill down into activity trends, I can use filters and visual layers to derive more information. I'll filter for people only and for the specific camera view I'm interested in investigating. Then I can apply visual layers to learn more about navigation trends through easy to understand heat maps. Here with the activity heat map, it's easy to see that most activity occurs in this area of the terminal. We can also see the most trafficked entrances and exits. Next, we can see the path heat map, which shows the most popular paths taken by people walking around the terminal hall. If we wanted to drill down further, we could set specific hours in the time range class filter. Here we can see the paths people tend to take within the terminal. This view helps us see that most people are using the terminal hall on their way to exit the airport, and fewer people tend to use this space to enter. Another helpful visual layer is the dwell map. This demonstrates where people tend to dwell in the space. The other visual layers helped us understand that many people exit through this particular doorway. But with this heat map, we can see that people also tend to dwell in this area. This dwelling could indicate that people are getting held up at this popular exit. By uncovering this, the airport can make decisions to enhance efficiency. They might consider, for instance, opening additional exits close by so that travelers aren't held up while waiting to exit. If the airport wanted to further investigate this issue and derive even more intelligence about these exit spaces, they could draw paths at the exit queues and then watch the video synopsis of the path view to understand what's happening at the exit and why people might be dwelling there. Now that we've examined the terminal hall, let's take a look at a different example with a security checkpoint. We'll start by playing the video synopsis to understand the scene. Here we can see travelers going through the security checkpoint and heading to their flight gates. Sometimes they stop to rest or regroup at the designated benches. Again, I can apply visual layers, such as the activity heat map, to see which checkpoints are more popular and which seating areas are utilized more. I can also apply the path visual layer for more perspective. Using that filter, we see that most people leave this checkpoint passing the seating area. Some people use it, but not the majority. People more continuously go through this checkpoint directly to the gate. Finally, we can apply the dwell heat map to understand where people are dwelling. It makes sense that most people are dwelling in the seating area designated for regrouping. By drawing paths in the checkpoint, we can see what people tend to do when they leave the checkpoint areas and whether they're going to the designated seating area to regroup. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you want to learn more information about how BriefCam can be used to help airports understand traffic patterns and optimize traffic flows in airports, feel free to reach out to us at briefcambootcamp at briefcam.com or by going to www.briefcam.com.